Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I am back with another one of my world-famous player collections. This one, the indomitable Man of Steel, Ricky Henley Henderson. There he is right there, Ricky Henderson. Before we jump into the cards, of which I have a few hundred here, um, let me just run through, for those of you who are not aware of the greatest leadoff hitter of all time in baseball history, uh, played 24 seasons, and honestly, wanted to keep playing even after uh, he was done. But uh, lifetime batting average, 279, 3,055 hits, 297 home runs, uh, the most home runs as a leadoff hitter of all time, uh, 1,115 RBIs. And here's the, the, the number one piece here, stolen bases, 1,406, which is like 50% higher than the number two person with Lou Brock uh, on the all-time list. Also, 2,295 runs, uh, was a 10-time All-Star. World Series champ twice, uh, once with the A's and once with the uh, Blue Jays in 89 and 93, respectively. The AL MVP in 1990, uh, Gold Glove winner in 81, um, ALCS MVP in 89, three times Silver Slug Award winner, 12 times AL Stolen Base Leader, and uh, is with a first ballot member of the National Hall of Fame. Um, had the most home runs, or I'm, I'm sorry, most stolen bases in a single season with 130. Also stole 100 bases in a season uh, three different times. Um, and, to, and to keep your speed throughout a 24-year career is just remarkable. It's just nuts. Um, also, he uh, holds a major league record for unintentional walks, uh, for runs, and lead off home runs, like I mentioned. Um, yeah, I mean, like I could say a lot more about him, but uh, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's just go through these cards here. I've got, I'm, I'm missing his first two years. Uh, these are all just cards I've opened in the last year or so uh, from collections or set breaks or box opens. So starting in 1982, I've got him and Tim Raines on here with stolen base leaders. Uh, this is uh, the year before his biggest year of stolen bases. So here you can see he had 56, kind of a down year for him. But next year he would break the uh, single season record with 130. So I have a number of these with Tim Raines. And Tim Raines actually that year had 71, which is a lot. Then also the Oakland A's 81 batting and pitching leaders of him and Steve McCaddy. And a lot of those from 82 tops. Lots and lots and lots of those. All right, moving on to 1983. And this is where we get to see his record-breaking season. Uh, here he is with 1982 stolen base leaders. Again with Tim Raines. This time, Ricky's on top with 130, which is more than twice as many as the number two spot there. And almost twice as many as Tim Raines, who had 78 that year, too. So it's just remarkable. And there's his 83 tops card. It's a little rough shape, but still glad to have that one in here. On to 1984. Um, I really like this, this good-looking card here, 84 tops. Also, um, before I jump off of this 84 tops, I have these 84 tops super, which are four times the size of a normal card. I've got, I don't know what, four, four or five of these things. They are all pack fresh, pulled fresh from, from packs, and they're in mint condition here. So that's kind of cool. The hardest part is trying to figure out what to do with them or how to keep them um, in good shape because they're so big. So there's 84 tops, uh, 84 uh, A's batting and pitching leaders. There's his 83 highlight. Steals 100 bases for the third time. There's a good-looking 1984 Donruss card and 84 Fleer. On to 1985, just a couple here, 1985 Tops and 1985 Fleer. Superstar special with Dave Winfield, the Ale Pitcher's Nightmare. Those Fleer cards always crack me up. On to 1986, and uh, we might as well start off with these big ones. I've got a couple of these Donruss pop-up All-Stars here. Then 86 Tops, and he had switched over to the Yankees at that point. He kind of flipped back and forth on coasts there. There's his 86 All-Star, one of his 10 times being an All-Star. A lot of these mini uh, glossy league leaders from Tops. And uh, there's an 86 Donruss. And there is the 86 Fleer Classic Mini and the base Fleer set. You can see different pictures on there. So cool uh, that just have to see different cards there. There is his Swing on Sports Flicks for 86. Then we have Roger Clemens, Don Magley, uh, who is that? Eddie Murray, um, Dale Murphy. D Dwight Gooden and Ricky Henderson. That is quite a card. Best of the best, according to the players poll. Uh, so here he is with uh, John Candelosi and Gary Pettis for 
speed burners, American Beast speed burners. And finally, you can see we've got Kirby Puckett, Fred, uh, Fred Lynn, and Ricky Henderson on the best in baseball for American League center fielders. Moving on to 1987. You can see we got quite a few of these 87 tops. Dun, 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 dun. Then he, there he is with Don Mattingly for the Yankee leaders. And a throwback to 1982 when he stole all those bases. And this 86 tops uh, all-star inserts. And here's more 87 Fleer, both the classic mini and the base card. Same photo session, different takes, I guess, is what that looks like to me. But good smiles on both of them. Here's the uh, Craft Home Plate Heroes cutout card. 87 Leaf and 87 Kmart Collector's Edition 25th Anniversary. All right, on to 1988. We've got a handful of 88 tops. We've got the 88 Tops UK Minis, which I know is not their official name, but that's what I like to call them too. Uh, the Drake's Cakes, which I thought was funny because they keep the 1985 back on these, uh, despite that this is a 1988 card for Donut Delights and Fruit Pies. You cut off the, you cut those off the box. Uh, there is the uh, league leaders, the, and then here's the uh, wax box bottom. Seven hundred stolen base plateau. We did it so fast. Uh, there's 1988 Donruss. Got a few of these, I'd say. <laughs> there's 88 Fleer and 88 scored around us out. Moving on to 1989, his last year with the Yankees. Actually, 88 was his last year with the Yankees, so we can see his 89 cards have him on the Yankees. But I've got tops traded right here with the A's. So switching back to his team, the A's, which he spent four different times, four different stints with the A's throughout his career. Always came back home. So 89 score. There's a score 88 highlight. Uh, there's an 89 Fleer, one of those... Uh, uh, Fleer Superstars in a uh, little mini sets, I guess we'll call them. There's 89 Fleer, 89 Fleer, and 89 Fleer update for him on the A's. There's 89 Donruss, 89 Donruss pop up all stars and the pop up themselves. Baseball's exciting stars from Fleer. Uh, and then 89 tops uh, all star. And there's the uh, upper deck, his first upper deck card. And I've got these um, unlicensed ones from the, uh, I think these are the, these are Pacific Cards and Comics which is an unlicensed uh, card there. And then his starting lineup from 1989, as well as Bowman and Topps Big. So quite a few there. On to 1990. Got a handful of 1990 Fleer. There's 1990 Don Russ. 90 score, which had, he had a lot of score cards that year. There's his base card. There's his dream team. And then he had a couple for the uh, World Series highlights. And there he is here. Jose Canseco. Ricky, uh, that's Dave Henderson down there. There's Ricky Henderson up there with Carney Lansford. There's a 90 upper deck. And just making it back to first base on a pickoff probably. Uh, 90 Bowman. 90 Classic Travel Game. 90 Post Serial. 90 Kmart Superstars. 90 Fleer baseball MVPs, and one of them is really mucked up for some reason. It came out of the set box like that. Uh, there's 1990 Donruss Baseball's Best. I love this blue board set. Uh, 90 US playing cards, two of those. This is 1990 Tops, but this is the wax box bottom, the 1990 Tops. There's another one of those unlicensed ones. This is the Brod Broder Brody collection, I believe. Uh, and then we have some Tops Superstar stickers. There is on the left there. On the back of that one, there's a checklist or Howard Johnson. There is his superstar card. And then 1990 collector books. That doesn't look like him at all. <laughs> Sorry, folks. On to 1991, which is the largest stack I have here. Lots and lots and lots. Uh, there's 91 tops. 1991 tops wax box bottom. That's, that's my third wax box bottom for him. I didn't realize I had so many. Uh, and that is a glowback wax box bottom, by the way. There's 91 Tops All Star, 91 Tops Bazooka, a couple of those. 
the Donruss decided they really liked Ricky Henderson this year. And this is coming off of his MVP season, so that's why. So that is a base card here from Series 2. A number of those. Uh, his award winner is the AL MVP. A number of those. There's his MVP card and his All-Star card. So that's four out of one set. Here's his 91 clear. 91 score. Also loved him. We have lots and lots and lots of his base card. Then we have his character all-star. Then his MVP, his franchise, his dream team. I love that shot of his dream team too. Really good looking card. Uh, 1991 Fleer Ultra, the inaugural year. This is the all-star insert, the gold all-star insert. His base card and the great performances of 1991. There's 91 Leaf, 91 Bowman the Slugger one, uh, 91 Bowman the Stolen Base Record there, and Jimmy Dean, Sausages, Line Drive Collector book, Collector Books, see a, maybe a better cartoon of him there, and uh, then we have 1991 Upper Deck, there he is with Lou Brock uh, as he broke the Stolen Base Record, here's his 1991 All-Star Game from the Final Edition, and then the very cool Triple Exposure that's a really good looking card. Nice job, Upper Deck, uh, for his base card that year. All of those from 1991. On to 1992. 1992 Tops base card here. There's 92. Oh, I missed that one. Let's put that where it belongs back in here somewhere. All right, 1992 Tops base card. There's his record breaker. All-time stolen base record. 92 highlights, all-time stolen base for Donruss. There's his Donruss All-Star. There's his Donruss base card. Good shot of him there, doing a head first dive. There's his 91 all-time stolen base leader for score. Or, I'm sorry, yeah. And there's his 92 score base card. There's his dream team. Another good shot of him sitting on all those bases. There's his record setter for Fleer. His base card for Fleer. I, and I remember these padded Mizuno gloves I wanted them so bad when I was a kid. Uh, the cool kids all had them. I think I actually ended up with a pair of used ones at one point, but he definitely was a trendsetter with those. So there's his 1992 uh, Top Stadium Club. There he is getting uh, pulled back by a pitch for a triple play. There's Pinnacle. I love these Pinnacle uh, Techniques cards or Mechanics cards. Uh, there's his upper deck of his thousandth stolen base. There he is, stealing one. And there he is with the uh, best base runner for diamond skills. There's the McDonald's baseball's best from Tops, which is a cool little set if you haven't seen it before. The backs are kind of colorful, but the, the fronts I actually thought were pretty good. And there is his Tops Kids, 1992. On to 1993. And yes, I have his 1993 Top Stadium Club. But what's even cooler is I happen to have the Master Photo. This is the card that uh, came in each wax box. And this was at the bottom of the wax box. Or not each wax box, but some wax boxes. And so you can see there's the actual card. And here's the Master Photo. So you see where the, where the cut lines are here. And it's kind of cool to have both of those cards. Uh, there's the Bowman, which is a great looking set. There's Hostess. There is... Uh, Triple play. I also like that set too. 93 Donruss, 93 score select, 93 uh, upper deck, 93 Fleer Ultra. Good shot there. Almost all of these from 93 have a really good composition and good shots of them. 93 Fleer. There's Pinnacle, uh, has his hometown hero. A few of those. There's his base card for Pinnacle. There's his 93 Leaf in duplicate or quad quadruplicate. And then 1993 Diamond Marks. I've got five of those. This is that bookmark set that's really uh, pretty rare to find. Moving on to 1994. This is actually 1994 Pinnacle. Uh, this is the insert, the creators, the runs creators. And he was on the Blue Jays for half a season, helped them win the World Series. There's a 94 score. And then came back to the A's. So there is uh, Collector's Choice, there is Leaf, here he is back on the, there's Top Stadium Club, back on the Blue Jays, and uh, 
This is 94 FLIR update, I think. Yeah, FLIR update where we got back to the to the A's. Wrapping it up here, I've got a couple from 1995 Topps Bazooka, and my most modern one is Gusto from the uh, EXL series um, from uh, FLIR. He was in the Padres from 1996, I believe. Yeah. And these were kind of like a weird cutout textured card. But So there you have it. Quite a Ricky Henderson collection. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Just, uh, again, the best leadoff hitter of all time. Hard to say anything uh, negative about his uh, performance on the field. Just a remarkable talent. I'll see you next time.